Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Real Life CFA. Today we're going to talk about total return swaps, TRS. So what is a total return swap? It is a swap agreement in which one party makes payments based on a set rate, neither fixed or variable, while the other party makes payments based on the return of an underlying asset, which includes both the income it generates and any capital gains. How it works is that if an investor wants to gain exposure on the S&P 500 index, he can either buy the 500 index directly or go to the bank and say, hey, I want to gain exposure on the S&P 500, but I don't want to buy any stocks or ETF. So the traders at the bank would say, sure. How about we set up a swap agreement? So in this agreement, we will pay you the returns on the S&P 500 index. And in return, you'll pay us LIBOR plus 1%. And how much exposure do you want to buy? Then the investor says, sure, I want to buy $5 million worth of TRS. Let's sign the contract. So in this contract, the bank will pay the investor the returns on the S&P 500 index. And the investor will pay the bank LIBOR plus 1%. So if the S&P 500 index goes up by 10%, the bank would pay the investor $5 million times 10%, which is $500,000. And the investor will pay the bank LIBOR plus one always. If the S&P 500 index goes down, the investor will have to pay the bank the losses plus the LIBOR plus 1%. So on the investor side, the risk is similar to holding the S&P 500 because the investor is responsible for the losses and also for the cost of funding. But on the bank side, the risk would be if the S&P 500 index goes up, right? Then the bank will have to pay out to the investor. So usually when a bank gets into a deal like this with any investors, they'll immediately hedge their position, hedge their exposure in this scenario they'll just buy five million dollars worth of s p 500 index think about it if the s p 500 index goes up the bank would have to pay out to the investor but on the other side its s p 500 index position would go up as well so the gain and the losses offsets each other and the bank will still get libor plus one percent or the bank can go to another bank and enter the exact same total return swap to offset this one. You might have heard this story. Archegos Capital Management defaulted in March 2021. The founder of Archegos Capital bets heavily on certain stocks using TRS and he was super leveraged. If his bet went well, then he'll make a lot, a lot of money. But if the market goes against his bet, he'll lose everything. And this is exactly what happened. Bloomberg News reported that Wang lost $20 billion in just two days because he was over leveraged. So TRS, as a derivative, it can offer you a lot of benefits, such as you can easily buy or gain exposure on anything and get you the leverage you want to help you to make a lot of money. But on the other side, it can easily get you to become over leveraged. So whenever an unexpected volatility happens in the market, it will probably force you to default or get a margin call. So this is the total return swap. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.